Hello and welcome to this After Effects tutorial about using ChatGPT to create a checkerboard pattern background. So I wanted to create a checkerboard pattern that I could just have the squares appear one at a time to just create a transition. And then I realized that I didn't know how to write the script. So hmm, I went to ChatGPT and asked it to write the script for me. So this is what this is all about. It's creating the script and then using it as a transition. Let's get to it. So here in chat GPT, I'm going to create a new chat. I'm just going to ask it. Can you create an After Effects script that will create a checkered board pattern. And of course I need to learn how to type and here we go. So right now I'm getting that it can't create the script for me. So it all depends on how you ask it. So let's see. Create a script that will create a checkered board pattern in After Effects. And I will fix these errors and now let's see. So now it's writing the script for me. So this is what we need to do. As ChatGPT writes the script, we're going to open text edit. Now we're going to copy this code just by clicking here and we're going to paste it on text edit. Let's take a look at the code. So it creates a composition, it creates the layer 1920 by 1080, that's good. And it's going to apply the grid effect to the solid layer. Let's see how this works. I'm going to just save this as create checkered board pattern in AE-1. Now I'm going to go and save this as JSX because it needs to be done in JavaScript. It asked me if I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. And now let's try it in After Effects. Look at my After Effects. I have nothing in here. So file, scripts, run script file, and I'm gonna run this one. And there is an error on line 11. So instead of doing it this way, I'm going to ask it if it can be done using different layers instead. Now we're going to copy the code and we're going to paste it in here instead. Now I'm going to do a save as and we're going to use all files and we are just going to save it as AE2. And now file, scripts, run script file and here it is. And here is the checkerboard that it created for me. Now, let's keep on asking it to do different things. Can the rectangles be oh, 480 by 270? We're going to copy that code and we're going to paste it in here and we're going to save this as number three. Now we're going to run this script. Let's delete everything in here and now file scripts, run script file and let's see what this does. And this is getting better and better and better. And let's see how large the composition is is 1920 by 1080. This is perfect. We need to limit the amount of rectangles 
to the width of the composition. It generates the code. We are going to copy the code. And again, we're going to paste it here and do a save as. And again, we want to see all files. And this is just going to be version 4. Now we can delete all of this again. And file scripts, run script file. And now we're going to open that composition. And it's getting better and better and better. Now I'm going to ask it if it can make for these rectangles to fill the entire screen. And there it is. I'm going to copy that code, paste it here, and save as version 5. Again, we're going to start anew. I'll delete all of these. And now file, scripts, run script file, version 5. <laughs> And I guess it didn't quite do it. I guess I could just grab them and resize them like that. But no, let's ask ChatGPT to do something a little bit different. And I'm not going to run this script. I'm going to ask it one more thing. And this is the code that I'm going to use. Now I'm asking it not to give me any transparency. So let's see how this works. I will copy that code and paste it here. And I'll do a save as. And here we go. This will be version 6. Again, I will delete all of that. And let's run the script. I see. So it's not quite working. Let's try it again. Can you start over and give me a script that will create layers which are 480 by 270 and form a checkered board pattern in After Effects. Let's see if this one works. Let's copy that code. Let's paste it here and do a Save As. And this will be version 7. So file, scripts, run script file. This is version 7. And let's see. Not so bad. Not so bad. I guess we could <laughs> just drag it like that. You know, and this is almost what I want, almost. But let's ask ChatGPT to fix it.
And now we're going to copy that code, paste it here in File, Save As. Let's make sure all files are showing, and this will be version 8. And let's run this again. File, Scripts, Run Script File, version 8. And this is what I wanted. Now I'm going to ask to randomize all of these squares. So now I'm going to go back to ChatGPT and I'm going to tell it, this is perfect. Can you randomize the layer stacking order? So eventually we got to where we need it. And there you go. We're going to copy that code. We're going to paste it here and we're going to do a save as. And this will be version 9. Scripts, run script file. This is version 9. We double click. And this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so now that we figure out the script and we have it, now how am I going to use this? Well, let's take a look at the script again. And you can see that it's creating that checkerboard composition as 1920 by 1080. You know, and uh, uh, we can change these values, 3840 by 2160. So 3840 by 2160, right? And I'll do a save as, and I'm going to change this one to 10, right? And let's see if that works. So back in After Effects, I will delete all of these, and now File scripts, run script file. This is 10. And there it is. All right. So this is actually perfect. So this is what I need to do now. I need to import some video and I'm going to create a composition for it. And this happens to be, I'll name this uh, drone video, 3840 uh, by 2160. So this is the Ultra HD that I wanted to use uh, from before. So now I'm going to open the checkered board and I want for these to appear one at a time and only last about two frames. So I'm going to move my playhead to two frames simply by tapping a two here. There you go. And now I'm going to end all of my layers here. So that's option, right square bracket. Now, all of them are randomized, so the order of them, that is. So I'm going to select all of them in order, and I'm going to right-click, go to Keyframe Assistant, Sequence Layers. And I'm not going to overlap them. I'm just going to click OK, and this is what I have. So I have all of my layers going like yay, and I'm going to end this, uh, let's say, at around seven and seven and a half seconds, something like that. So with all of my layers still selected, Alt or Option, right br bracket, and now this is what I have. Randomly, all of my layers appear every two frames. I'm going to end this um, composition right here, and I'm going to trim it to the work area. Now I can go to this other video, and I can just do yay, right? And now I have my layer, but it's playing backwards. So remember, I want this for a transition, so I'm going to duplicate the layer. I'm going to put the duplicate one after the other, and this one I'm going to time reverse. So all I have to do is go to layer, time, time reverse the layer, and now I have 
something that reveals and then conceals again. All right, if you want to do this a little bit longer, a little bit different, you can always adjust the duration of the compositions. So super easy, piece of cake. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know I was thrilled to learn that I could use ChatGPT to create scripts for me. And next time, let's see if I can create some expressions, shall we? All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.